What's up everybody, welcome back. Today we're gonna to be driving a friend through downtown Raleigh and kind of explaining to them where everything is, where good things are located, some of the hot spots, some of the best areas to be in and around downtown Raleigh. We're gonna hit highlights from social life to restaurants, to things to do and to housing. So let's go ahead and dive in. All right, so here's Chris. Like I said, we're gonna be driving him around, kind of explaining downtown Raleigh to him. So uh, let's go ahead and get this show on the road. All right, so first we're kind of in the Kara Lee downtown south area right now. So this is an area, Chris, where like uh, downtown south is proposed. It's a little a little bit of a hold right now, but it's, it's gonna be coming soon. Um, pretty cool area, a pretty hot, hot spot right now. Some really cool condos over here. Those are the Carolee condo building. That's an old uh, cotton mill that they turned into historic condos. Super cool units there. Uh, but we're gonna shoot over and be able to see the farmer's market as well as uh, Dick's Park. So we've got the farmer's market right there. That's the state farmer's market. It's a pretty cool spot. Uh, you can get produce and flowers and Every year we go pick up pumpkins for Halloween and Christmas trees there, so. And they have that, that restaurant. It's like the uh, yeah. old, old school North North Carolina, uh, what, seafood too, right? All, everything fried. Yeah. Any type of seafood as long as it's fried. Yeah, and then they've got yeah, the farmer's market restaurant, which is like more breakfast, kind of country cooking. You get a biscuit. Uh, when you sit down, it's a pretty cool spot. So we're pulling into Dick's Park right now. Um, there's a ton going on in here. So the city bought Dick's from the state back in 2015 for a little over $50 million. Um, and they've turned it into this massive kind of park and fields. Um, but then there's a bunch of stuff going on. Uh, one of the more exciting things that's happening up here is uh, it's called the Gibson Kids Park. I think it's supposed to open in the spring of 25, so about another year of construction. I think kind of the goal is to continue to drive both things to do around here, but also the kind of residential growth, because this is definitely gonna be a place where people wanna live. There's just a ton of stuff happening in and around Dick's Park and kind of the, the downtown south. We didn't see it, but they're also getting ready to uh, do the uh, to do the uh, sunflowers that the city of Raleigh always puts on. Uh, so that should be happening here in a few weeks. I mean, it's a pretty cool view being able to stand in the sunflowers and have the skyline in the background. Uh, but yeah, they they definitely play it up for the influence. That's for sure. But it, I mean, it was big enough that you weren't like yeah. No, it's a lot of fun to go do. They have food trucks out there on the weekends. And, yeah, it's something, if you live in Raleigh, you gotta go do it. You gotta go see it. Um, but we're coming down, this is Lake Wheeler Road right now, but we're coming down, we're gonna hit South Saunders. And like I said, this is, they're gonna start redoing Lake Wheeler Road here in the next few months as well. Um, because as you can tell, it's a little bumpy right now, but uh, this is what they envision as the Southern Gateway to the city. And uh, so they're gonna make this a really nice road. Uh, and there's another view of the playground that they're building. I mean, it's gonna be just absolutely incredible. Uh, yeah, so there's a pretty good look at the weld. Pretty massive structure there. So yeah, that's got like 300 some odd apartments in that first phase and then another 300 coming in that second phase with some retail on the ground floor there. And then, Funny enough, we get to the end of the road here, and uh, there's another apartment building being built with another like 200 some odd units in it. Um, it's being built by John Kane, so we've got the son on one side of the road, and we got dad on the other side of the road. Uh, and they're really driving the growth in this area. This is something that they see as kind of the the next uh, place to be in downtown Raleigh. And anytime the, the Kane family touches something in Raleigh, you gotta believe it. Uh, Cause they've been right many, many times before. 
We're going to get into downtown now, and there's a few more developments planned along here as well. Like this corner up here is being rezoned for seven stories. There's just a ton of stuff kind of going on in this area, all being driven pretty much specifically by Dick's Park and uh, what Dick's has to offer. But um, we're going to drive over here, and this is going to get us into the Boyland Heights neighborhood. This is like a historic neighborhood uh, in Raleigh. Super popular. Um, a lot of people want to be in Boylan Heights. Um, really nice neighborhood. Prices in here are definitely getting on up there. I mean, it, it takes on the low end $750, $800, and then, you know, on up to the million and a half, two million mark to get into Boylan Heights now. Pretty cool. You're getting a house that was built. A long time ago, um, uh, some have been updated, some have not, but I mean, there's it's a pretty spectacular location in downtown Raleigh. You're walkable to so much. Yeah, and then there's this house up here on the left. It's called the Heights House. It was an old house, and it was actually a Boylan Heights resident saw it every day and they're like I want to turn that into a bed and breakfast and sure enough they have and it's almost like impossible to get a night there on the weekends now you got to book it like six months in advance all right so this is everyone's favorite bridge in Raleigh you get a pretty sweet view of the skyline there and more things to come yeah another building going up yeah yeah so let's dive down there um, oh got a road close there ton of construction going on. So kind of what you could see there, and we'll shoot over there, it's called the uh, Warehouse District. Um, that's another area that's just seen a ton of new construction and new towers going up. A lot of the stuff though that we're seeing, and I get asked this question all the time, like, oh, is there gonna be another high rise condo building in downtown Raleigh? And none of what's being built right now is for sale. All of the units being brought to the market are for rent. This is the Citrix building up here. The Citrix is a big employer in Raleigh. And uh, they built that building and then COVID hit and everybody went home to work and never came back. And uh, Citrix has been trying to sell that building. It's, uh, one of two food halls in downtown Raleigh. This is Morgan Street Food Hall. Cool spot. It's a popular thing in Raleigh now, though, is to hit the food hall. So this is the Go Raleigh building right here um, that we're about to pass. This is a massive building. It's going to incorporate a new bus station um, and just going to have a ton of. It's going to have some apartments on top. The bus station. It's also got the train station next door to this. Uh, so this is really going to kind of become the transportation hub of, uh, of downtown Raleigh kind of place to be. But yeah, we've got the train station right next door, which is one of the cooler pieces of architecture in, in Raleigh. All right, so we're still in the warehouse district right now. Uh, we're going to come up here. There's another, we're going to pass this vacant lot up here on our right. This is where the old Berkeley Cafe was, which was like a music venue in Raleigh. And, uh, it's just got torn down, and, or is about to get torn down, I should say, and then this vacant lot, and they're going to build a 20-story building there. And it's pretty sad for people to see that move, but they did find a new home, so that was good. Head over to Fayetteville Street. When did they redo Fayetteville Street? Man, it's, it's probably been 15, 20 years now. Yeah, so it was a pedestrian mall. And uh, they moved that and, and brought back the, to be able to drive through it. Um, they shut it down a lot for like yeah, they shut it down all the time for different events. Sunny had a little bit of a snag lately during the week, 
uh, from what I understand, just because people aren't in the office in downtown Raleigh as much, so they're seeing a little bit of a slowdown in the amount of traffic that they would normally expect uh, on Fayetteville Street. But on the weekends, there's a ton of traffic. It's just during the week, it's a little bit slower. So we're gonna drive down Fayetteville Street. So if we were, we're gonna take a left here, but if we were to take a right, that would be where um, the Duke Energy Performing Arts Center is. And that's where like the symphony plays. There's a bunch of different performing arts and different plays are held there, like Simba, or excuse me, Lion King, I should say, is coming soon. So they have a ton of different things there. And then we've got the Wake County Courthouse here on the left, and then straight ahead, pretty sweet view, uh, is the capital of the um, state. It's the capitol building for the state of North Carolina. Um, so it's a pretty cool view to be able to look down Fayetteville Street from one end and see all the way to the other end. You can literally stand in the middle of the street, look left and look right, and you'll see Memorial, or now it's Duke Energy, but it's always been Memorial. Auditorium to me, and then the Capitol building on the other end. There's like a ton of restaurants, just like one street over. Yeah. To right. Yeah, so that's Wilmington Street. Um, and yeah, we can head down there. There's like a ton of different restaurants. This is a Raleigh staple right here. This is the Raleigh Times little breakfast. Um, something really cool that they do on Tuesday nights is uh, beer and banjo. So if you like bluegrass music or you want the full North Carolina experience, head over to Raleigh Times for beer and banjos every Tuesday. Um, so now we're going to come up on, uh, or more square, I should say, excuse me. Um, they redid this probably about 10 years ago, 10, 11 years ago. It's seen its ups and downs. Um, they, uh, I just saw something that said they've really tried to clean it up this year. And, all right, so we're on Person Street now. It's kind of another big main road in downtown Raleigh. Um, and we're gonna head over to Historic Oakwood is uh, kind of similar to Boylan Heights. I would say both are two of the most popular restaurants, or excuse me, a restaurant. <laughs> I'm looking at my favorite restaurant in Raleigh as we drive up on it. Um, Long Leaf Swine, if you want barbecue, that is my suggestion for the best barbecue in Raleigh. But uh, yeah, Historic Oakwood and Boylan Heights are two of the more popular neighborhoods to live in in downtown Raleigh. Over here on the left is uh, the uh, governor's mansion for the state of North Carolina. Fun fact, take a guess at how many square feet that is. I don't know, probably like two, three thousand? Thirty-five thousand. Thirty-five thousand. Oh, that's it. There's it's it. Yeah, yeah, it's it's pretty hidden. I didn't know that. We were walking one day and we ran into the groundskeeper and I asked him, he told me to guess. I said seven. He was like, well, there's a massive basement. I was like, okay, 15. He was like, nope, 35,000. But yeah, so we're entering um, Oakwood now. These are some newer kind of condos and townhomes here on the left. Uh, and then uh, the kind of the, the original Krispy Kreme in Raleigh is right here. Massive global brand now, but started in Winston-Salem, but this is the original one for Raleigh. Super cool. Um, take the kids after church on Sundays, grab a donut and a great pizza restaurant right there called Oakwood Pizza Box. And if you like secret beer place, there's a great beer place right here, Pelagic, to grab a beer. And now we're officially in historic Oakwood neighborhood. So, you know, again, this is very similar to um, Boylan Heights, uh, older neighborhood. It is in the historic district for the city of Raleigh. So anytime, just like Boylan Heights, anytime you want to do something to the exterior of your home, whether minor or major, uh, 
you got to get it approved by the Historic Commission because their number one goal is to continue the historic charm and character of, of the neighborhood. Um, there is a restaurant in here too called Side Street Cafe, which is pretty good and it's pretty cool. You can walk in there. It feels like old school Raleigh a little bit. Uh, it's tucked away and, and pretty hidden. Um, so cool place to go to check out. But yeah, this is like super popular neighborhood. We don't see too many homes come on the market in Oakwood. And uh, when they do, they usually sell very quickly um, and usually for over list price. It's getting harder and harder to get in here. I mean, we're seeing like 14 and 1500 square foot homes going for eight and 850 now and anything. You know, 2,000, 2,500 is definitely going to be over a million bucks. Well, you just only have so many homes, right? Yeah, and there's just very little turnover in here. I mean, so far this year, I think I've seen like three homes sell in here. So, I mean, it's just like... But there, there's a lot like just outside too. That... Yeah, yeah, so we'll we'll shoot over there. That's There's a ton that's not like in historic Oakwood, but essentially touches it. Um, that's really popular. Historic Oakwood adjacent. Yeah, exactly. Um, and Oakwood is all around Oakwood Cemetery too, so that's kind of, um, but Oakwood's got a ton of different Halloween stuff, Christmas tours, I mean, it's a really cool place. Um, so yeah, this is what we're talking about here and we're getting Oakwood adjacent now. Um, so we're not in historic Oakwood anymore just outside but this is like a new neighborhood that was built this was actually a tiny so there was a whole neighborhood of basically tiny homes that were built just after. oh look you can see that one was added on yeah to. just after the uh, world war ii and this developer roebuck holmes came in bought the whole neighborhood tore them down and when they did it and they started building they've had prices in like the six and sevens People were like, oh my God, I can't believe the price is there. And now these things are over a million bucks to get in here. Um, this is one of my kind of favorite hidden spots in Raleigh, though I'm not so sure it's hidden anymore, but um, it's a great neighborhood. Like if you want that kind of historic Oakwood feel, but you want a new house, I mean, this is pretty awesome right here. So now that we're kind of through there, this is kind of what we we're talking about. This is what I would call um, Oakwood adjacent. This is uh, Brookside. So we're coming up on the road, Brookside, but in the Brookside area. Um, price is a little bit lower than Oakwood, but you're still walkable to everything that Oakwood has. Great coffee shop there. This is the Brookside Bodega. So it's got a restaurant and bar inside. But as we kind of drive around along Glasscock, excuse me, Glasscock Street here, you'll see like, I mean, let's just count one, two, three new construction just right here within a few houses of each other. Um, there's another teardown on the other side of the street. So like, this is kind of the next. Uh, area for Raleigh um, for sure and it's simply because you do you get um, you know a little bit less than Oakwood but you still get all the, the, the best parts of Oakwood but yeah this is an example like we're gonna drive down this street and like I think what you'll see is like you'll see some older homes that haven't been updated and then you'll see some newer homes that have been updated well, and they have slightly bigger lots, it looks like, than yeah. a lot of the Oakwood stuff in like really downtown. And even as you go into like the village on the other side with NC State and everything. Yeah, so we're getting kind of like outside of downtown a little bit, but I thought we'd shoot over um, and see Ironworks. Ironworks is like, because I think that's one of the cool parts about living over here in Brookside is like, 
you've got all the stuff that Oakwood has, but then you've got access to other parts of it too. So like, we're gonna go check out Ironworks, which is a brand new development. Uh, super cool place, tons to do there. And then from there, we'll go to Five Points. And so living in Brookside or Mordecai uh, area, you've got access to all of that. Basically, every store, every shop, everything that you can <laughs> ever get is on one of these uh, roads. Exactly. <laughs> If you're a Costco fan, this is the road for you. This is, this is the road that takes you to Costco. So this is a old steel mill um, that was recently redeveloped um, by Grubb, who's another big rally developer. Uh, just opened this year, or, or late last year, I guess I should say. Um, super cool place though. Um, they've got some restaurants, some stores, uh, there's apartments now. Uh, they've got some, uh, a very expensive gym, if that's what you're looking for. This East Cut is like a really good sandwich spot. This place is a Scott Crawford restaurant. Uh, I haven't been yet, but would like to go. There's a brewery over there, Ponysaurus, with a sweet slide. Um, for the kids. For the kids. I, you know, everyone always goes, you're gonna take kids to a brewery, and I'm like, yeah, they often have like arcade games and yeah. like slides and stuff. Yeah. It's not like other places where, you know, it's not like a bar. It's, it's not a bar. It's no. not a bar. I was having that conversation this morning with someone. I was like, it's not a bar. It's definitely not a bar. It's more of like a kid's place that right. happens to sell beer. Yeah, I bought an ironworks on like a Friday afternoon. I, I went one Friday and it was just absolutely crazy. It was packed. It was really cool though. But this is like a lot of what they're doing now where it's like, you know, Raleigh itself maybe isn't a walkable city, but they build like pockets of walkability. Yeah, um, totally. So you have like housing and like food and things and you can walk to your area, but that's, I mean, exactly. so you still need a car, but you have a lot of cool things around you that you exactly. can do. Exactly. Well, and all this is kind of interconnected here. Um, so that dock, uh, 1053, Grubb did that. And then um, this is an, another area that Grubb redeveloped right here with restaurants and some office space. And so, yeah, I mean, it's kind of all connected it's to your point. Yeah, it's not like quote unquote walkable necessarily, but it's all right here next right. to each other. Right. Maybe we could say like bikeable. Yeah. And you can walk, just be ready to walk a little bit. Yeah, right. Right. Um, all right. So we're, uh, this is Whitaker Mill Road and, uh, we're getting into what is called five points. Um, Again, this is another kind of hot area to live in Raleigh. This is very, very popular. I would say this is probably on the higher of ends uh, prices to live in Raleigh. It's pretty interesting though. You'll just drive through here. You can see a pretty good example of what we see um, in most neighborhoods in Raleigh where you'll see like an older house next to just like massive brand new house. Um, and we're just seeing more and more of that as, as homes that were built in the 30s, 40s, and 50s are being torn down uh, and new new homes are going up. But yeah, this is, this is one of the more popular places for people to live in Raleigh. Yeah, if you live in Raleigh and you live at what we say is ITB inside the Beltline, so that's um, 440 uh, highway here, if you live inside the Beltline, and it's this kind of road that just circles Raleigh. Exactly. And uh, if you get on it, traffic's a little crazy, but not yeah. hugely terrible. But yeah, this is, uh, this is the Five Points neighborhood. Um, and you've got a bunch of different neighborhoods mixed in uh, here. But again, I just think this is a really good example of like, Big house, big new house, small old house, big new house, old small house. And in here, you're not in the historic district. Um, so you, you can do whatever you want here uh, as far as new construction. So you will see 
a lot of different types of new construction and a lot of different architecture, uh, which is pretty cool. It's, it's nice to see, see it get mixed up a little bit. Uh, but Five is, is called Five Points because there's an intersection there at Whitaker Mill and Glenwood Avenue, which are two big roads in, in Raleigh. Um, and it's got five points to the intersection, uh, hence the name Five Points. Probably see a lot of diversity of the type of people who live here too, from people who've been here forever and people who have like just moved in and and a mix of all of the above. Uh, but yeah, this is. I think we've talked about this before on our channel too, like the kind of the Five Points area, the zip code, the 27608 zip code. This is uh, one of the. Uh, uh, if not the highest earning zip code in Raleigh, so uh, the highest median income here. This is White Oak Road. This is like, we're, so we're kind of getting into more Carolina Country Club area. Um, and this is where you'll really see some very high end homes. Um, and uh, again, like you'll see that mix of like, new and old and a mix of both but yeah i mean um there's 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 some serial in the, in this area of town not a lot of small homes here no nah. <laughs> no nah, this is this is beautiful this is a great place to be in raleigh that's for sure big yards yeah i mean it's a pretty incredible spot but we're gonna get on Glenwood over here. Glenwood is kind of one of the other main thoroughfares in Raleigh. So you've got Fayetteville Street, which we were on earlier, a ton going on there. All right, so we kind of went to the far end of um, the Five Points area. So we're gonna come back through. Um, you can, on Glenwood, you're still here in the Five Points. On, on this part of Glenwood, you're still in the Five Points area. You go right there to hit Cameron Village. Great shopping spot, tons of restaurants. One of the more one of the older shopping centers in Raleigh that they've redone quite a few times, um, but really cool, really cool place. So there's the Five Points intersection. Just went through that. They have like one of the only grocery stores. Right? Yeah. Yeah, there's like two Harris Teeters kind of nearby. We, we finally do have a Publix down in Smoky Hollow, which is like the heart of downtown. Um, but that was just open like two years ago. So for a long time, Cameron Village was like the only grocery store in downtown Raleigh. Um, we do have another uh, co-op down in the warehouse district as well. Pretty cool. And you can go down Wade Avenue and there's a uh, Whole Foods. Yeah, Whole Foods, yep. Yeah. But yeah. That's what keeps the walkability kind of down is the lack of grocery. Yeah, stores. yeah, I think they're working on it. But yeah, definitely. All right, so now we're in the uh, historic Glenwood, Brooklyn neighborhood. Uh, we're back in a neighborhood that's overseen by the Raleigh Historic Commission. So again, this is another neighborhood where if you want to do something to your house, you got to go before the Historic Commission because they're trying to keep the uh, historic charm and character. Definitely doesn't have the name brand that Oakwood or Boylan Heights has, that's for sure. Yeah, so yeah, this is exactly. So this is Glenwood South. Um, this is where like, if you're looking for nightlife or like the party scene in Raleigh, Hard to see right now on a Monday morning, but this place is just uh, lined with bars and restaurants on a Saturday night or a Friday night during the weekend. It's just absolutely jam packed with people. Uh, cool spot, there's apartments along here. There are some condo buildings on here. I will say, like I've been in some of those condos at like midnight before. In fact, I had a client who wanted to buy one asked the owner if we could come at 11.30 on a Saturday night just to hear it. 
and we walked in and their decision was made pretty quickly not to buy that one because it was so loud. Where This is Hillsboro Street. This is another huge kind of thoroughfare in Raleigh. It takes you down to the Capitol building to the left there and then Cameron Village to the right where um, that uh, hair studio that we were talking about earlier is. But yeah, so we've kind of gone a little bit in a full circle here where we hit back into the um, Boylan Heights neighborhood. All right, man, hope you enjoyed the uh, little bit of a tour we had. All right, guys, we're back in historic Boylan Heights. That uh, concludes our tour of downtown. Just a little bit of the Cliff Notes version there for you. Happy to dive deeper if you're considering a move to the downtown area. If you want to watch the full unedited version of that 360 camera, watch it right here, link right here, and we'll talk to you soon.